Welcome to In The Garden Part 3. Sitting here, I'm just having a wee Guinness and I'm chilling. But when I'm having a beer, I love a burn. So, it got me thinking. The chimney is knackered. Or is it? Let's see what I've come up with. So one of the major problems is that most of the chimney is cast. The cup is cast. Solid. Very heavy. Apart from the crappy grill, the legs are metal, but the, the whole bowl is cast. So what's my problem? What's this piece of crap? Look. It's just... Look at that. Flimsy, crappy metal. And when you burn your chimney, well, that's what happens. So, is it possible to have a chimney without the funnel? So, here's what my thoughts are, and here's my invention. Look at that. It's a nice wee bowl. And it's got that. It's got my wee cap on. And look. Who needs a chimney? When you've got that. Let's see what we can do with this to tart it up and tidy it up. Let's see if we can get a beer and a burn going. Okay. So first things first. <coughs> I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to paint it with this barbecue paint because put on my thing up right and here's what the result is once it's painted so let's go ahead and paint the other pot right it's actually dried and as you can see it's kind of dried to a, a matte finish so no sure if I'm uh, happy with that, but to be fair, when you look at it next to that, the bird's crap. Now this is my other chimney, this is one that I'm going to do, uh, and actually what's left of the chimney with a chimney repair on to it, okay? But in saying that, I had a bit of metal left, so I've created this. And to be fair, I can't get these screws out, but it's just sitting there. So. If we take this now, let's see what that looks like on here. And voila! So, before I paint that, I want to get a quick rub down and a wee butter with a hammer to straight a couple of buckles out. So, one with a brush. Okay, so bearing in mind, okay, this is just a rough thing because it's just rather than throwing it in the bin. But there you go, the whole lot has been rubbed in. I've left the bottom as a just in case, but as you can see, the rest is not too bad. And we have a wee quick bit of paint on that. Well, let's see how it looks.
Well, there you have it. Now, to put in a bit of perspective, okay, I'll you show you what I've that install to be done. So, we went from that kind of a finish, okay, I'll bring it back a bit so you go into the picture, and we've now moved on to. Ta da! That's not bad. Now, because it's barbecue paint, it means it can withstand the heat. So, let's test it. Let's go and have a beer in the barn. And there we go. That's the finished article. That's it in place. I've got it ready. I'm burned done in that. So, that's final coat of paint. I just bent the wood. But that's already. Bottom's cleaned out here. That's all got paper in the bottom ready to light. So let's light it. So one of the secrets for me is plenty of air, but as you can see in the chamber here, right? And there you go. You can't check by going in the top. There you go. But that'll catch. And what I'll do is, I'll shut the gate. I'll turn the lid off for a minute. And that will let it start. Oh, and that's me now ready for a beer in the burn. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. So that was episode three in the garden. Bo. There he is. He's in the garden with us. Look at that fire now, look. Oh, yes. So all that's left to say is, hope you enjoyed this. Your good health. And have a nice Easter weekend. Till the next one. I'll say the... <laughs>